So I'm just going to make a quick rectangle and you can see my fill is set to red and my stroke is black. My stroke has a nine point weight to it. If I wanted to change the stroke or the fill, um, I could use my selection tool to select my shape and then I could reduce the amount of stroke or I could change the color of the fill. I could also turn the stroke to none or the fill to none. So I could either pull the stroke in front here and set it to none and that would eliminate the outline or the stroke. Let me set that back. Um, or, <laughs> sorry about that, or I could also, here you can see my stroke so it's just visible, I could also select my shape and set the stroke up here to none and I'll command Z that one more time. Or I could also go over here and make sure the stroke is in the front and set that to none. So there's a lot of ways that you can manipulate these shapes. I'm going to hold down the Option key and make a copy of this. So let's say in this case I actually want to have, for whatever reason, a cyan stroke with no fill. I could select my shape. You always have to select the shape first and swap the fill and the stroke. And then on the stroke value, maybe I could give it a little more weight so it's a little more visible. So this is a shape that has no fill. If I try to click someplace in the middle of the shape, notice that the shape does not select. I can only select it now around the edges because it actually has no fill. It's, it's transparent on the inside. 